I guess uh, the number one thing for me, and I'm just going to be like full transparency, just guilt-free sex. So I feel like that's that's a perk. Guilt-free, enjoyable sex. Sure. (laughs) But yeah, I feel like, you know, when you're single and you're just out in the streets, I personally don't know. I was sanctified and baptified and holified and <laughs> but um ma'am. It, it's almost as if when you get ma'am. married you're ma'am. just <laughs> ma'am you do realize for a por- a good portion of your pre-marriage life was dating me and i've already said that we had a lot of sex before we got married in a previous podcast you so said that? yeah i said when cynthia was I need you to go trying to take over redact that um that's out there the words out there for the world to see so so I'll yeah, I I'd, I'd say that that's probably that's, that's that's probably it. I mean, I feel like people get married and sex just becomes such a weird, uncomfortable thing to to talk about, and I'm not really sure why. Um, because I because so when single people are getting it in, like everybody knows they're getting it in, uh, and they just shout it from the rooftops, like you'd think they were a keem just to be loved, like to have sex. They're just like all about it. So uh, I that's I mean that's a perk, like. It's guilt free. Um, you don't have to feel like a so sinner. You're, you're saying, you're saying if you're single, oh, I there's mean, there's a guilt to speaking about having sex. Yeah, I I feel like it. I mean, if you're a Christian um, uh, or have a f- some type of spiritual faith background, you know, you uh, you have a feeling of condemnation at times. Uh, yeah. If that is something that you partake in, I ain't judging you. Um, I don't really care. Get yours. Um, but that is uh, that is something. And I mean, even in the long term, that's you know, and, and this is just, you know, stemming from the church and probably psychological things that I should work through with uh, with a therapist. But, you know, it, it, it can be something that it's hard to separate yourself from even when you are married. And it's like sure. you, you do have the right to have sex and sex just becomes such a taboo. And it wasn't until recently that even just saying the word was. Like, yeah, and go intercourse, intimacy. Like, no, it's sex. Like, that's that's what it is. Penis, vagina, in, insert sex. So Knock, Knocking boots. Yeah, so it's like we, like, literally. <laughs> what's up with Dan, the what's up? You know, when Daniel I. Daniel said in his speech yesterday, and it was like, pe- like yeah, his mom oh, got yeah, embarrassed, yeah. but Daniel, it's yeah. true. Like, you know, I, his parents met, they had sex, and they had him. Like, that's that's literally how most of us are here. You know, I feel like I haven't, um, I haven't given America uh, a side side quest story in a while, so I have one um, uh-huh. that relates to being single and and having sex or having sex out of outside of marriage. You know, I uh, moved to North Carolina when I was fifteen, mm-hmm. and uh, my cousin Ashley was living here. She's from here, mm-hmm. born and raised, Charlotte, North Carolina. Hey, girl, hey. So she had a friend who I will not name. Cause you never know what's going to happen in the future. Uh, but she uh, took interest to me and me somewhat to her. So she hit me with this phrase. Now keep in mind, I'm from Northern Virginia. I'm coming down to the, uh, the Bible belt, uh, South, South, uh, Southeast. And uh, so there's, there's a bit of a language barrier in terms of like slang and things and whatnot. Like the slang that we use in Northern Virginia, it may not be the same as what they use down here in the QC. So we're hanging out one day and she hits me with some what's up with the what's up. And that's exactly how I respond. I was like, <laughs> like I don't know. <laughs> what's up? <laughs> Apparently, what's up with the what's up is like, yo, when we gone? You know what I'm saying? So, of course, I didn't find out until after we were no longer interested in one another. You missed your WhatsApp opportunity. Yeah. Oh, I've missed, I have missed. I feel like I've missed so many opportunities. Yes. Um, there, I have stories. I have stories. Of uh, <laughs> just being completely oblivious to uh, just, just signs, like just right here. Still is. Right here in my face. Still but is. yeah, so the, the what's up with the what's up. So it's interesting um, because um, one of my, my five, are you done with yours? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. one of my fives so, is, uh, one, is one. Yeah, yeah, one of mine is actually uh, the fact that I don't have to deal with the dating scene because it just seems so stressful to be to be single 
in today's world. And, and it's, it's, it's kind of like uh, Netflix, right? You know, people talk about, oh, when Netflix was first coming up, it was, it was legit because it was new. It was different. Um, I don't have to go out. I don't have to return CDs. I don't have to put anything in the mailbox. I can just stream. But Netflix gets big and then you just have all this content. You just become it's so, exhausting. it's so overwhelming that you just get an anxiety about it. And I feel like it's the same way with dating. Like before, pre-pandemic, you had uh, Tinder, you had Bumble, you had, um, oh. uh, there's a farm in there, like a farmer one. There's a farmer's one. Farmer's there's, one. There's you like got a, like a silver one. Christian mingle. There's like one for like the elders. There's, um, yeah. No oh, snap. And they're commercial. I was like, okay. Yeah, what's up I, with the, what's up with the, what's up? So it's just like, there's just so many different ways to like, so many different funnels you you have to to meeting someone and you would think that it's like oh well it's great it like increases my my odds and chances but it just to me it just seems just like so cumbersome there's a part of me that and maybe it's the part of me that appreciates a challenge that i wish i could have had the opportunity to like experience that the, the app and the swiping like i never got to like formally want, like do the whole formal dating thing i want, where it's I like, want an annulment cool um uh that was gonna be my announcement so hey uh, rush I vibes never, <laughs> rush vibes is no more is the, no we're the gonna season, do like we're gonna do like j-lo and, and a-rod season and series and, and finale still keep our business ventures together oh, but, rush be, vibes. but be apart it's over. but i just feel like you know so we got together i was 21 um so I never really got in like we got married. I was 24. So and we were together ish uh, from 21 to 24. So, you know, there was never really heavy, heavy emphasis on the ish, the ish on the ish. Um, there. I never really got to experience the whole. Oh, like, you know, someone setting you up and, you know, uh, you meet them here at eight o'clock. Well, we, we were kind of set up. Not really. Uh, we were and we weren't. Um, I guess I'm mistaken. Or just the, like, you know, the blind dates or the, you know, the co communicating with someone via an app and then having to, like, introduce yourself to them in person and build. So it's like, for me, I'm like, that's, that seems kind of cool. Like, all of this started while we were well into our marriage. So, or peaked while we were well into our marriage. So, you know, not that I'm like... Like, let me take a break and get into this this life and see what it's about, and then you know pop back. But I just feel like it'd be, it be it would it would have been cool to have those kind of stories. Like I hear like some girlfriend stories just about how someone was one way. Like I, for me, it's more humor. I think maybe I, I've watched too much reality TV, so I'm like vicariously living through people. For some of you, I apologize. I know you're in it, and it's probably just overwhelming and stressful, and you're like. Where are these men's? Um, where are these women's? Yes, and I'm I'm put in plural. I, I don't care. Um, but yeah, I just think it's like, oh, it could be fun. No, it couldn't. Like dating could be fun. No, I would be I, if, if. But that's if, you. Heaven forbid, if we if we if there was a point in which we didn't make it, man, I'd just be a bachelor the rest of my life. It's just lies. It's just too lies. much. Cause then you gotta go out like I, we're, we're coming up on like ten years that I haven't had to like pursue anyone or get to know anybody for the first time. Oh, have stop to, pursuing me. Have to get through. Well, I mean, somebody new, somebody I'm who. New? I'm not evolving. I'm not changing. <laughs> I'm just. I'm just. I mean. What, just yes, you are, but I mean, I. Plain I, baloney. But there are still core principles of you that are you. And I've always been you and will continue to be you. To switch it. And I'm talking up. about and I'm talking about somebody unknown, an unknown entity. Uh and it's just like to me, it's just an exhausting thing about because I look on Twitter, I look on Facebook. Like I had to get to the point on Facebook where I I literally, if I'm a friend with friends with you, I probably don't follow you on Facebook. But we're still friends because I don't want to like just unfriend everybody, but because I just kept seeing like all this toxic men ain't shit and like oh women me women this women that and it's just like it's like yo i don't why am i subjecting myself to this i don't have to deal with any of it this is true now i got to deal with getting yelled at for you know not putting dirty clothes in the hamper instead on the floor right next to the hamper but that's fine i take that any day of the week over just some of the just trash that's out there 
not people, but just the mindsets. It's just like, do y'all know what sacrifice is? Do you know what compromise is? Do you understand that like to find somebody who you're going to be with for an extended period of time, if that's something you want, you're going to have to bend a little. Somebody else going to have to bend a little. And you have to meet each other in the middle. Like you ain't going to get, you're not going to get all 100% of exactly what I want. You're not going to get perfection out of a partner. Like, and I wonder like, where do people get these expectations from? Like, is it movies? I think it's movies. Is it movies? Like, is it media? But, but or the it stuff could that, just but, be they've but been that doesn't make sense because a lot of the stuff that's popular, a lot of the relationship stuff that's popular is toxic. Yeah. Going through some growing pains. Yeah. yeah. Nothing but some growing pains. Yeah. Hey. Hey. I done 